everyone myself srijita shah today i am going to share my data science project on fifa player clustering analysis from the year 2015 to 2022 currently i am pursuing data science degree from iv professional school and my main purpose of this project is to uncover the strategic patterns within the global football talent by applying unsupervised learning technique especially clustering here is the road map for the analysis i have started with the overview of the fifa data set then i have moved on to the crucial steps of data cleaning data pre processing and after that i have conducted feature engineering and scaling to ensure that the findings and the input data will be clean and meaningful outlier detection is carried out by using box plot analysis which is vital for avoiding any distorted clusters after cleaning and scaling i have performed clustering using the k-means algorithm followed by determining the optimal number of clusters using two techniques one is the elbow method and the other one is silhouette score after establishing the number of clusters i have delved into the characteristics and visualized them to understand the distinct talent groups i have utilized the fifa data set from 2015 to 2022 that has been taken from kaggle this data set comprises of 137633 player records across multiple seasons making it one of the most extensive publicly available football data set i have used the main attributes from the data set that are potential wage in euros and the market value in euros potential reflects the maximum growth a player can achieve effectively predicting the future performance wages and market values are the economic indicator and together they form a composite view of player worth the goal of this project is to segment the players into different clusters that are not arbitrary but economically and strategically meaningful by grouping the players with similar future potentials and financial valuation i can expose the inefficiencies in the player valuation and wage allocation Let's take a look at the data set. Here, there are total of eight sheets where the data is present from the year two thousand fifteen to two thousand twenty-two, and there are many columns, like seventy-six columns in this data, and that is why I have deleted the columns that are not necessary for clustering. For this project, I have imported necessary libraries like the pandas and OpenPy Excel. I have used OpenPy Excel in order to combine the sheets present in the file so that we can merge it in a one CSV file and can use it for for the clustering purposes. After this process, I have cleaned my data properly, removed the null values. In this slide, I have shown that data cleaning is a foundational step in ensuring that machine learning models are working effectively. In our data set, we have removed the irrelevant columns and such as the player images, social tags, the and other values. I have only focused on the player entries that had valid entries for the potential wage and the market value. I enhanced my data set by conducting two critical tasks that are feature engineering and scaling. Firstly, I have removed the columns with over 30% of removed data or missing values such as the release clause and the player tags which otherwise offered limited clustering utility. Then I have transformed the years like FIFA 2015 into numeric 2015. then it has improved my algorithms interpretability and the most crucial part was scaling since our core features include potential wage and value exist in vastly different numeric ranges without scaling it won't be possible to do a proper utilization for scaling the data i have utilized min max scalar normalization to rescale all three core features into 0 to 1 range 
this standardization is essential for distance based algorithms like k-means it will ensure that all the features are equally weighted and no single variable disproportionately affects the clustering outcome we know that in clustering outliers can skew the centroids and lead to misclassified clusters in order to address this we have conducted a box plot based outlier analysis for each core variable such as potential wage and market value this box plot clearly revealed extreme highs players like messi or mbappe with wages and values for above the min with these are the genuine stars their presence distorts group averages and weakens the k min's performance i have also applied interquartile range method to retain only the data between 5th and 95th percentile this statistical filter will help us to focus on the model on the bulk of players who fall into meaningful competitive tiers for the feature scaling part i have used min max normalization for three critical features potential wage and market value and it ensured the uniform value distribution to be 0 to 1 therefore the idea was to assign each player to a cluster based on the shortest distance to the centroid our initial trial used the value of k to be three clusters each player was assigned with a cluster id which grouped them into statistically similar talent and value brackets therefore after this process i have determined the most effective number of clusters we used two popular validation techniques that are the elbo method and the other one is the silhout score the elbo method has plotted the sum of squared distances against different values of k a clear elbow was observed in k equal to 3 suggesting diminishing returns beyond the point then i have used silhout analysis and it measures the intra cluster cohesion and inter cluster separation the highest score was 0.878 in which the optimal number of cluster was 3 critically this isn't just a technical step it will underpin the interpretability and reliability of our cluster outputs also choosing the optimal clusters has allowed me to define the real world talent tiers like rookies professionals and elite stars in this slide i have discussed the three types of clusters generated through k-means clustering For the first one, cluster zero, the teal green part includes the players with potential scores between forty-five and sixty-five, wages below twenty k euros, and the market value of under five hundred k euros. These are the players who are typically older, reserve squad members, or from lower tier leagues. While they offer squad depth, their return on investment is limited. making them suitable for the roles such as mentoring youth and short term tactical needs the next cluster is considered as cluster 1 is showing in purple that is representing the mid tier professionals their potential ranges from 65 to 75 and wages range between 20k euros and 40k euros and the market value spans from 1 million to 8 million euros these are the players who are often first time regulars in mid table clubs offering a stable blend of expertise cost efficiency and consistency and the third cluster that has been depicted in yellow highlights elite or rising stars with high potential like 75 to 90 range and web chess above 40k euros and the market values between 5 million to 25 million euros these are the players who represent for future investments and already established talents therefore the key insights from clustering include the player potential emerge as the strongest driver of both wage and market value This indicates that the clubs are increasingly investing not just in current ability but in the player's future promise. And it can also be noted that the jump from a 70 rated player to an 80 rated player from 
isn't just a small scale increase it reflects a significant financial leap secondly the clusters also clearly outlines the talent market segments that is the developmental that is called cluster 0 stable professionals that are considered as cluster 1 and the premium assets that are considered of cluster 2 in this slide i have discussed some of actionable insights like one clear strategy will be to target the players with potentially scores between 70 to 75 investing in them early before they transition into cluster 2 can yield high amount of returns both in performance and resale value examples like marcus rashford and orlin tushamani illustrate this principles this is how the clubs can benchmark salaries and transfer fees using cluster data making negotiations smarter and more defensible overall clustering can transform the scouting process from an art into a science thank you for joining me on this analytical journey through the fifa talent economy thank you so much i am srijita and it's been a pleasure presenting this to you thank you